What's good YouTube? Welcome back to another video, man. And today, it's a very special day. I'm not gonna lie to you. I just purchased my first rifle, the DDM4 V7. Um, you know, everybody loves Daniel Defense, but you know, they're pretty pricey. I've been thinking about getting this for a while, and I'm so glad that I finally got it. And let's just get straight into the unboxing, man, so I can show y'all what this thing look like. So there is a lot of good ARs that you could get that's way cheaper than um, Daniel Defense. You could even buy two rifles or three rifles for the price of one Daniel Defense rifle. But for my gun collection, I'm starting off, I'm trying to get quality pieces and I'm trying to have pieces that will last. So I'm going for longevity. I went ahead and I dropped that bag on the DDM4. So let's just open this thing. I'm talking too much. Here it is, man. Let's take that thing out of the case. It is clear. It still got the safety pad on the trigger from the store, but it's brand new. Look at this thing. I got the all black 16 inch barrel. Got the little foregrip handle. Got the adjustable stock. You can take that down. You can make this thing real, real tactical. Real tactical. I'm not gonna lie, this is the prettiest AR, bro. Like, I'm, of course I'm gonna say that because I'm biased. And y'all probably thinking right now, yo, Igua, you don't got no attachments. Who don't got no sights? Y'all know I was ready for this. Hollison 510C holographic sight. But to throw that reflex on there, we about to get crazy, bro. This is my first AR, so y'all know this is gonna be my baby. She ready to sleep next to me in the bed, I'm not gonna lie. Right now, I just got the standard Daniel Defense. Can y'all see that? The standard Daniel Defense 32 round black magazine. I'm gonna go ahead and pop that out. So, we are cleared. No live rounds are in the vicinity. Uh, ooh -wee! Boy, oh boy, you feel me? I'm not just a Glock boy no more. So y'all can't just say, yo, Igua, you just copy Glocks. Hey, I'm about to cop one more Glock. But my collection is starting to go up, y'all. Just wait on it, bro. I got a lot of special things planned. Y'all know I already Cerakoted my 43X. I'm Cerakoting my 19X. And y'all gonna see the bills. Let me know if I should Cerakote this, man. Should I Cerakote this or keep this all black? Because I'm rocking with that all black. But if y'all want me to, you feel me, we might dibble dabble. Got Mr. Ford in the cut. Should I blick him? Should I blick him? You think I'm lacking? Uh. Feel me? We never lacking. I always got that splat on me. Yeah, yeah, me. Feel this thing, man. First AR. Your boy caught his first AR. Lights out. That boy bad news. He a menace to society. I'm about to show him the receipt for how much I paid. For, how much you think I paid for the AR? Eight hundred. He said eight hundred. <laughs> y'all know. I don't think I said it yet, but y'all about to find out. The receipt. Damn. Wait. Where's the full? That's the full price right there. I paid it. I hit my limit. So I paid one thousand nine hundred and eighty-four dollars for that DDM4 V7. One thousand nine hundred and eighty-four dollars for that DDM4 V7. That's why I maxed out one of my debit cards. It only took a thousand dollars a day. Then I had to use my other card to pay the other nine hundred eighty-four dollars. So really. I just dropped two bands on this and then the site was like 400 so right now that's $2,400 bill and I'm not done yet but this is just what it looked like right now I'm about to throw this site on real quick and then I'm gonna um, check back in with y'all all right y'all so as you can tell I went ahead and threw that um Hollis and reflex site on there the 510c and if you can't tell it is green can y'all see that I might gotta cut the light real quick can y'all see that reflex in there Gotta find it. There it is. So right now I have the circle with the dot on the inside. Right now it just look like a big dot, but if we could get it to lock in, bro, that would be magnificent. I'll probably just take a video on my phone and put it right here on the screen so y'all can see that rectangle better. But I got the green dot with the circle around it. Um, This does have a very long barrel. 
So I'm going to put a magnifier right here. It hasn't come in yet. I'll probably continue this video because I don't want to post it when it's not finished build yet. But I'll probably pick this video back up when I get that magnifier right here. So I can just show y'all the basic outline of my build. All right, guys. So quick update. I also went ahead and threw an old light on there. Don't bash me for old light. I know a lot of y'all got a lot of words, you know, to say about old light not necessarily good, but you know, I had a partnership with old light. They sent me a lot of their products to test and review for you guys. They were good for me. Um, I got the pressure pad up top, so you know it works very well when I do the C grip. I can press or I can press and hold, drop, cuts off. So I really do like that. I think it fits very well. The black on black looks very clean. It's discreet, zip tied, so the core is not all in the way. But also, if you can tell, I removed the vertical grip. And I'm actually going to move it down slightly because it was all the way at the end of the barrel. Most of the time, I'm going to be gripping it like this. But when the barrel starts getting high, the more rounds I put through it, I'll drop down to the vertical grip and hold it there. But I like the more relaxed position right here rather than having it all the way at the end and just, you know, overextend it. So I'd rather have it about right here. So I'm going to go ahead and install this vertical grip a little bit closer. And then I'm going to check back up with y'all tomorrow. Alright guys, so it's finally finished for now at least. Um, I threw a couple attachments on here as y'all can tell. I'll show y'all exactly what I'll put on in a second. But let's just get a good look at it. Alright, so as you can tell, I do have a sling on it. I did not connect the sling to the end of the barrel because I like it closer. I like to wear it on the front of my chest, just like this, behind one shoulder. So I have easy access to my shooting hand. It's really easy to just side it right off the chest. Boom, boom, boom. Super, super tactical. You feel me? Super tactical. Here, here. I can move around. The sling's not in the way. It's right here connected. Best sling connection right there. But let's get into the attachments. So, y'all already know I had the Hollison 510C green dot sight. But now, I threw on the Hollison HM3X um, magnifier. So, you know, it can move off to the side if you want to just use the regular green dot reflex. Let me turn that on for y'all. There it is. It looks like a big green ball. We've been over this, but it's really a circle with a dot. But then when you flip over that magnifier, let's see how steady I can hold my hand. Boom. It magnifies it like crazy. And it's not even all the way out. So I can extend that magnification even more if I wanted to. But I'm going to put a video up right here of what it looks like with and without it. So you can see I'm aiming in on the North Carolina basketball jersey. There's no way we should have lost that national championship against Kansas this year. I was so upset, don't talk to me about it. But then you can tell when I flip the magnifier on, the image gets extremely larger. So whatever you're sighted in on, after you flip that magnifier on, there's no way you miss. If you miss with a reflex and a magnifier, it's not the gun, it's you. You don't deserve a gun. Your aim is dookie, I'm not gonna lie. Still got the vertical grip. I threw the Olight Odin on there. Pressure pad up top. And then the left side is where the sling connection's at. So we got the sling connection right here and right here. Um, the mag release is also on the right side, so that helps a lot. I'm right-handed, so everything on my gun is made for me on the right. If you need to switch it, you know, you can flip it. But um, when I'm sighted in, I can easily pop the magnifier over with my right hand, mag release on the right side. So that's the reason why I put the sling on the left, because if I put the sling on the right, it's going to mess up all of my specifications. You feel me? It's going to mess up all of my attachments. The stock is still adjustable, but most of the time, I am going to keep it shorter uh, right here or even all the way closed in because I like to keep it very tactical around here. If I want to get long range, I'll pull that stock out. You sure you want to run up here, buddy? You shoot shit up? You gonna think twice about that, huh? Yeah, he's dead. Got him. Yo, on a scale of one to 10, 
Rate the tacticality, bro. Super tactical. Block 19X, Kydex holster. You're trying to take it, you can't. You know why? Thumb release. Boom. You feel me? You're not getting that out. Boom, one. Y'all know I got this big thing on me. Don't do that. Boom, boom, boom. Right? And, oh. Glock 43X. In the uh, Black Sheep holster. Shout out to Black Sheep. Customized. I don't even know if I showed y'all this yet. Uh, y'all see that? Guap Gang holster. Custom Glock 43X. That's my baby. I got a custom holster coming in for my 19X soon. So y'all gonna see that. But, um, yeah, man. It's getting real tactical over here, so make sure you subscribe. All right, y'all, so let's break it down. Y'all already saw the bare bones build of the um, DDM4 V7. It came with the vertical grip. No other attachments other than the adjustable buttstock. I threw on these three. So I'm going to show y'all exactly what I threw on in case y'all want to, you know, replicate this build. I would recommend getting a better light. I just happened to have this in my closet because Olight sent me it. But I still would not knock Olight. I like it. Y'all already saw it. I'll show it again. But right here, I got the Hollison. Hollison HM3X magnifier with the Hollison 510C. Beautiful combo. Works perfectly together. If I already put the video in, y'all seen it. We could put it in again so y'all could see how good that zoom is. The magnification. Real nice, real far, beautiful. The Olight Odin GLM is very, very bright. I'm gonna try to get a shot of me outside tonight. I'll record when it gets dark and y'all can see how it lights up the woods. All right, so y'all can see this right here. It is completely dark, watch that. Boom, that thing illuminates the whole world. Turn that off, pitch black. Turn that on. That thing is bright. Bright, boy. It will definitely blind somebody. I don't want to blind y'all, but check this. Look. Hold on. I'm going to cut that light off. Y'all see how dark it is in here? Boom. Look like I got a light on in here now, so it's real bright. Um, And the other feature, the Odin GLM also does come with this pressure pad, so you don't have to buy this separately. When you purchase this, use code ESI at checkout. You might still get 10% off your order. I don't know if they took the code down yet or if the code's still up. If the code's still up, try use code ESI at checkout. But it'll come with this pad. And like I said, you could tap it and it'll cut on. Or you could hold it and it'll stay on as long as you're holding it. And when you let off, boom, it cuts off with it. So it's smart technology that could come in handy, you know. In any real life situation or tactical training um it looks pretty nice it's slim it matches the barrel i wouldn't say that it's the best light you could get because obviously you know there's sure light whatever all these other expensive flashlights that might work better might shine brighter but the old light gets the job done i'm not gonna lie but yup that's what i did the sling was off amazon I'll link all the products in the description. I'm not promoting the sale of firearms. I do not sell firearms on my channel or any social media. I do not sell firearms. Yet, I might try to get my FFL. And y'all know that I'm going to try to get them things, boy. Them. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Yeah. Sweet, yeah sweet, hey, boy. But anyways, um, let me know what y'all think of my first AR. The first attachments that I've thrown on there just to get that build right. Um, rated 1 through 10. I might got to send this to some YouTubers and try to get in one of their copper drops. So, you feel me? I might got to make a burner account and DM my guns and see if I would get it copped or if I would get dropped. Because you feel me? They can't be biased towards me because they know it's my gun. But let me know down below in the comments. Would y'all cop or would y'all drop the DD M4 B7? Hollison 510C, HM3X Hollison magnifier with the Olight Odin GLM pressure pad flashlight and the vertical grip from Daniel Defense. I am thinking about putting another um, grip on here and taking the vertical grip off and getting the V grip because, you know, it's better for my, um, for my handle. But, you know, like I said, when the barrel gets hot, it's easier to grip down here. So 
for now, I think I'm going to keep that vertical grip, but in the future, you know, I might change some things up. I might put some rounds through it and decide I got to make some adjustments. But for now, she's going to sit like this until I can get her out on the range. Oh my gosh, we're going to go crazy. So stay tuned for my first shooting video, all that. You know, I might make some adjustments, Cerakote, anything. Stay tuned. Smash that like button. Thank you guys for watching. And I'm going to catch y'all on my next video, man. Ooh. Ah, my arm, dude. It's... Bro, I hit biceps today. Y'all don't care, but I'm cramping in my bicep crazy right now. You're not doing shoulders. <laughs>